Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the Setup Wizard for EasyLaw. It is important that you take the time to answer the following questions correctly, as some of them will set the precedent for how EasyLaw will run in the future. Click the Next button to proceed. Enter the full name and address of your firm. This information will display both throughout EasyLaw and on reports and reminder notices, so enter the data in a format that you prefer. The country, state or province, and zip or postal code will display based on the version that you have downloaded. Click the Next button to proceed. On this screen, you need to enter the date format that is used by your firm. This may be dictated by the country in which you live, or it may be a firm choice. I recommend that this date setting match the short date setting on your computer under the control panel. You will also need to answer the question as to whether or not your firm wishes to bill or report on all matters for a single client. This is often referred to as subfiles. If you select yes, the number format that your firm uses is a client number for a client followed by a matter number. For example, a client file may have a client number of 1234 and a matter number of 001. If this client hires your firm for additional services in the future, their client number would still be 1234, but the matter number would be 002 and so on. Using subfiles not only lets you group all matters for a single client together, but it can also be used for billing and inquiring, where you wish to report on all matters for a client at the same time. If you select No, this means that your firm, when opening client files, creates a new client number each time, regardless of the client is returning client. The option you select can also be dependent on the type of law that your firm practices. Click the Next button to proceed. On the Tax Settings screen, you need to enter your firm's tax or business number, as well as rates that your firm charges for taxes. If your firm does not charge taxes, make sure the rate is set to 0, 0.000. Typically, Tax 1 is a federal or national rate, and Tax 2 is a state or provincial rate. Click the Next button to proceed. The Financial Settings screen is very important, as this determines not only the format in which you wish to display your financial reports, but it also sets the date range for your current operating year. There are four types of accounting methods in the U.S. and international version of EasyLaw and two types of accounting methods in the Canadian and Australian version of EasyLaw. The most commonly used methods in the U.S. are cash and modified cash accounting. Cash accounting records cash and or checks when they are received and when they are expensed. There is no work in progress or accounts payable transactions on the financial statements. Modified cash accounting is similar to cash accounting, except it records work in progress disbursements on the financial statements. The most commonly used method in Canada is the billings as revenue. This method lets your firm record work in progress fees on client files and the financial statements, but only records fee revenue when a bill is entered into the system. This method also lets you easily reconcile financial statements to lawyer reports. The final accounting method, work in progress as revenue, still lets your firm record work in progress fees on client files and the financial statements, but revenue is recorded with each time entry. Revenue is then adjusted by variances in the billing of fees and the value of your unbilled work in progress fees. Please contact your accountant for further explanations on accounting methods. The date range that you enter for your accounting year must be the year in which you will enter data into EasyLaw. Some firms simply convert to EasyLaw as of the day they are working 
or as of their last month end, so the date range would be their current operating year. Other firms, however, will convert to Easy Law as of their last year end, so it may be necessary to enter the date range of their last operating year so the balances that are brought forward into Easy Law are posted into the correct period. Click the Next button to proceed. To complete the setup wizard, you must create one user account for the administrator. This user will have full access to the system and is usually the primary user of the program. User names and passwords can be up to 8 characters in length and are not case sensitive. Click the Finish button to proceed. EasyLaw will confirm the revenue type that you have set on the previous screen. Click OK to proceed. If you wish to continue with the Quick Start setup of EasyLaw, please select the Quick Start System Settings video tutorial next.